For this video we're going to continue our look at the function nodes in Node Red. In particular we're going to look at this range node. And the range node is quite good for putting your input values, the input into to it, into a scaled value that means more to, to the end user or you know to, to a UX or UI screen. An example where we might want to do this in the process industry, we use milliamp signals for, for a lot of our sensors. And those will be ranged from 4 milliamps to 20 milliamps for very good reasons. And for some applications, you might have a, a value that goes just below 4 because your cable resistances aren't quite right. So, but having a negative value appear on your SCAD or your DCS could throw out all sorts of alarms. So you can scale your value to, to ignore that. So let's have a look at the range node. If I double click this, we can open it. The message coming in is the message payload. Okay? Um, and we're saying the range, the input range is 4 to 20 milliamps. You don't have to worry about putting units on this. You can put the units elsewhere. And we're going to our target range, so the output is 0 to 100. I wouldn't bother with this round to the nearest integer. You know, it's, you've got a floating point coming in. Why would you want to round it down to an integer on the output? doesn't make sense. So I would never really have that ticked. You can change the name here if you want, but we'll leave it. And we will have a look at the output. So I've got this inject node is, is putting a randomized value in. And this one is putting a fixed value in um, of 3, which is less than my 4. So you can see what's happening. So if I inject my random, I can see here that my milliamps coming in is 13, and I have a, an output of 61, and 14, 68. That's fine. I'm happy with that. But if I put in 3, which is less than my 4, I now get minus 6.25. And, and like I say, that could just be, I mean, it's a bit of a big jump, one milliamp, to be honest. It's probably going into a fail-safe condition. But if it was if it was 3.9 something, it could be that you, you've you got some resistance in the cable that's just stopping that signal going to where it needs to go. We can tell the inject node to, to stop that from happening. So if you go into here, this is the, probably the main bit that you're going to use once you've set the scaling up is this action. So... We'll set this to scale and limit to target range. We'll do a deploy. And then we'll clear all. So if I inject, it, it's not going to affect my, my, my scaling from 4 to 20. What it's just going to stop is if I inject 3 now, I get 0. Okay. Ideal for, for, for applications where you might be monitoring volume in a vessel. Um, and operators start to get very questionable when they see a minus volume. It just takes that uncertainty away. When you're at the bottom of a vessel and you're looking at the last 30 or 40 litres, it sounds like a lot in the real world, but when you've got you know, a vessel that holds 25,000 litres, there's not enough in there for a production run anyway. This is why you would uh, use this. There is another one, and I'll... I'll show you it here and then I'll get the instructions up, which is wrap within the target range. I'll get the the manual up for it, and then you can see it gives you some examples. And I really can't see. So you can see here scale normally. So you can see the example 0 to 10 on the on the on the input and then output 0 to 100. So the output's the same as what we've got programmed. If you Use the first method, you put a 12 in, you get 120 out. That's fine because it's predicting linearly where the where it's going to go. The one we've just done, limit, 12, it limits it at 100. And then the wrap, I'm not too sure why you'd want to, to use this wrap function. Um, the, you know, if it gives, gives you a value that's normally 20% and then you go to 120, you've got two input values that could give you the same output. I, I will put my hands up if somebody can tell me why that's going to be usable in the real world, but I'm not too sure why it's there. So for me, it's just these top two scale and limit that you would be using. So there you have it, the overview of the, the range node 
really simple to use but quite powerful to put uh, your output data into standard formats I hope you found it useful uh, as I always say please click on the like button and the notification because there's quite a few videos like this coming out but for now thanks for listening and hope to see you again soon